Hi, beautiful. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Today we're talking about flat irons. And if that sounds like a boring topic to you, well, it isn't. It's fun as fudge. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and stop swearing so much. It's getting a little bit out of hand on this channel and I'm so sorry for that, except I'm also not. But flat irons, I love them. They're great for everything literally everything. And I always shock people with some of my skills. So I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff today with the flat iron that is going to blow your mind. I swear. Let's um <laughs> get some mannequins out. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back. Miss Manny Quinn. She has been gone for a while, this one. I didn't know she would ever see the day of light again, but today she's coming back out. This is my, from the overtone video I did, but um, and she, everybody seems to love this color on this mannequin so much. Like when they come to my house, they're like, who is that? I'm like, that's Miss Mannequin number 63. Um, she's retired, but now she's back. What's up girl, how you doing? You look cute or whatever. So of course I prepared her hair with Glitterati by a brand called X Mondo. I don't know what it is, but like it works. <laughs> Just kidding, it's my brand and um, it, it's gonna defrizz smooth, add hold and a lot of shine. And of course, a little extra sparkle. So let's just get into the things. Why don't we start off with the most simple of simple things to do with the flat iron, which is Flat ironing with a flat iron. You can actually straighten hair with a flat iron. I don't know if you knew that. Today I'm using the T3 flat iron and I'm not sponsored by them. They did send me this, but um, I didn't. they didn't pay me anything for it. So I do like ceramic plates a lot and it's set on the third highest temperature, which is around like 350. I typically don't ever use it all the way at 450. I mean, it's just like really not needed. That's a lot of heat. So we're gonna start off in the front of her hairline. Now I like to work in sections that are Small, about an inch wide, little less than a half an inch thick. I always recommend following the comb with a flat iron and not the other way around, not going like this, because guess what? You want to make sure that hair is combed out and ready to go before the flat iron even hits the hair, all right? Because if you have tangles in your hair, you're going to flat iron the tangles into your head and you don't want that unless you are into tangly hair. I don't know you, but I don't think you want that. So we're gonna go like this and hold it at first and pull it really far away from the head. That way you can get really close in there to the scalp and then start with the comb. And this is the secret, you guys. Go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. I love when hair smokes. Am I the only one? Um, because it typically means that the product is working and is protecting the hair, in my <laughs> eyes at least. That's beautiful. Look at that, already so straight and stunning. Okay, now typically I go with a second pass, all right? And a slow pass. This is not a whoever finishes first wins the race type of race. This is a whoever finishes last wins the race type of race. I don't know if you've ever been in one of those races. And look at that. Two passes, completely straight. You're gonna see a lot of shine. And honey, that is from the Glitterati, honey. Oh my God, I wish you could feel her hair through the screen. I want it to be my blanket. This is super simple, but it irks me when girls take the flat iron and just go whoosh, 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 really fast with the sound effects and everything and their hair still isn't straight, okay? It's about being slow and steady. I swear, you'll probably get your hair done faster if you just go slower, all right? And we're gonna follow with the comb or lead with the comb, sorry. And we are just gonna straighten this out super simply and damn. I don't even have to go with the second pass. However, I would love to just because I, I just, it's just like a little extra something. And the second pass, you can go a little bit faster. It's that first pass that is gonna make the huge difference, okay? Look at that shine. That's from going slow and using the proper products. Wow. Okay, sorry. Um, back to what I was doing. So that's that. That's always fun. And we're gonna move on. All right, let's do something a little bit more Fun. Let's do some waving techniques. I'm gonna show you all the different ways you can actually wave hair with a flat iron and curl it. I'm also gonna show you it on short hair. So just stay tuned for that if you have short hair or fast forward, whatever you wanna do. First, we're gonna do a simple curl technique with a flat iron. So let's start with a curl, just a simple, for some people, um, flat iron curl. So you're gonna start off at the roots 
of course. And you're just gonna make sure this is all combed out. On yourself, you're gonna be like this, like pointing upwards towards your head, and you're gonna turn the hair backwards away from your face. Most modern hairstyles have waves going away from the face. Forward curls is more of an old Hollywood style. So if you're into that, if you want that, totally do that, go forward. Otherwise, you wanna go away from the face. But I like to also alternate the curls like I'll show you in a second. So I go up to the root, you'd be holding it like this, and you turn halfway and you grab the ends again and you pull out. You see that? It's really not that hard. I don't know exactly why everybody seems to, <laughs> to make a fuss out of it. If you get too much of a curl at the ends, you can just quickly go in and add some heat and it'll release that curl a little bit. But that's one down. Let's do the front piece. And now again, we go from under up, close the iron, twist halfway, and start to pull quickly. Not too fast, but you don't wanna let it sit in one place or else you're gonna get a lot of crimping and it's gonna be ugly and nasty. And make sure you go all the way to the bottom, all the way, all the way, and twist it with your fingers. Because if you don't twist it with your fingers, oh, look at that beautiful, oh, girl, hello, how you doing, waves? How you doing, curls, how you doing? Uh, look how pretty they are. If you don't twist it at the end, it will release some of the wave. You have to think, hair gets hot, and when it cools down, it sets into place. So when it's still hot and you twist it on your fingers, you're kind of molding it again to reassign that curl to where it's supposed to be. So you have a little time to reshape after you're done. If the curl's too tight, you can pull it down really hard and pull your hair a little bit and it'll release some of that wave as it's setting. And you can kind of rake it out. Your hands obviously have moisture in them, so you can use some of that moisture to take some of the wave out. And let's just do a few more. I'll show you that again. We're gonna alternate a little bit in the back and then we'll move on. Let's just fast forward through this. So what will happen if you curl everything away from the face is it clumps together. And to me like clump together curls aren't cute. So you can kind of throw an oddball in the mix and do it forward and that will stop the hair from clumping together. There you go. It kind of splits them up and adds a bunch of body and texture. And I think these are too curly, so I'm just gonna flat iron them really quick down just to make them a little bit more modern and pretty. But yeah, that's the basics of curling with a flat iron. Congratulations, you passed my class. You get an A plus. Beautiful. And she looks stunning. And she could leave the house right now, but she's not going to because she's stuck in my house forever. You can also brush it out and make a really soft, fabulous wave. Bam. Ah, girl, who is that? That is so pretty. All right, let's move on to the next sort of thing we should talk about. I wanna go on to the purple. Now that we have the curling figured out, we're gonna move on to stuff a little more artistic, if you're ready for it. Okay, so I love to do this to people. Again, take a same section. Now this, I don't really use much of a uh, comb or a brush in my hand for this. I use my fingers. This will give you precision. This will give you art. Actually, they'll both give you art, but these will give you some more art. Um, so I like to take the hair and you're gonna turn it halfway down and you're gonna turn halfway up and halfway down and halfway up. Can you guess what's gonna happen here? You're gonna get these fabulous waves that are almost natural looking. This is a lot of what we're seeing now is kind of this like wave that almost looks like it could be somebody's natural hair, but it's not. It's a flat iron wave and that's how you do it. So let me show you that again. You're gonna take the section, boom, clip it on, boom. Halfway turn, pull out, halfway turn, pull out, and make sure every turn is even make sure the last turn is the same as the first turn so if you're pulling for like one second you're gonna turn the other way for one second and the other way for one second so that way the the wave is cohesive and even all the way through it's gonna help also if you kind of push the hair up after you do it it's gonna give you kind of a more defined wave if you kind of like push it upwards towards the scalp as you do it so as you can see she has these waves going on and they are very artsy waves. They're very natural looking and they're kind of just boho chic. We're not looking for anything perfect here. We're looking for organic. You can also kind of go back in on some parts that weren't wavy enough and just turn halfway and just remember to keep the, the iron moving at all times. Don't stay in one spot. You're gonna get burning. Now I'm kind of using my artistic touch here to just add more 
texture and more wave to it. And you're just kind of eyeballing the pieces that need a little bit more love. And also you can take some hairspray or some texture spray, add it on there in order to get a little bit more definition as you're doing the wave, all right? As you can see, it's messy, it's cool. It's not supposed to be all pretty. This is supposed to be pretty. This is supposed to be kind of like, oh, I'm a cool girl and I like my hair wavy. You know what I mean? Like she's not trying to impress anybody. She's just trying to live her life. And this is how I wear my hair if I was a girl. <laughs> a little more texture spray in here. See that difference, girl? Boho, Soho. Boho, so actually Soho, no ho. I don't know. One of them. It's cute. I like it. It's fun. It's a very light, flirty sort of wave moment. Very cute and very chic. Let's move on. Okay, baby. What should we do next? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you think they're ready for that? You think so? Okay, fine. All right, so we're gonna spray <laughs> some texture spray in first. This process I would do probably right after you blow dry. If you tend to have flat hair, this is gonna be good for you. This is gonna help your look last. So I'm gonna spray a little texture spray in here. It is very texturizing, which I happen to like. Say you just have flat hair. You want volume. You're like, dude, it never lasts. This will help you, all right? I like to go in the root. And give it a damn bevel, dude. Like, just bevel the root. So you're pulling it away from the scalp and giving it a little bit of a bend. You're really just adding texture in there and you're gonna get height, okay? This girl's hair is majorly flat. The fact that I just got that volume in there with just a flat iron, it's pretty dope. So this is something you can do super fast and on the fly. And you can also just do it on the top of your head where it's really flat and just take the hair up in sections, give it a bevel and hold it there for a second. And that is gonna give you some major volume, all right? We're gonna brush it out after we're done with this part, but I'm just gonna keep going and show you what I mean. All right, so once that's all cooled down, you're already seeing a lot of volume. You can also see the little holes of volume in there. Now that this is cooled, we can now take our brush and brush that out. And as you can see, the hair is no longer stuck to the head and she's got some volume down there. And this will last you a lot longer than blow drying volume will. Just because you're really flat airing that product into the hair and giving it that bevel and that high heat it needs to stay. Let me just flat iron the ends just so you can kind of see the look. This is great when you're on the fly and you just want to spruce up your hair a little bit. Obviously, I'm not like going full on with the style right now. I'm not trying my hardest to like make it look perfect. We have a lot of things to go over, but that's how you bevel the hair. You get the point. It's pretty dope. Just give it a little bit more of a refreshed, voluminous look um, with a flat iron. So one tool, great for everything. Now, if you want that wavy look we did, before, but you don't exactly still know how to do it. You're still confused. There's other ways. Now it's gonna give you a little bit of a different wave this time. It's gonna give you a little bit of a tighter, even more of a raw uh, cool girl vibe. So if you're into that, I'm gonna put a bit of texturizing spray in again, same OGX or hairspray or anything like that. Now I would recommend blow drying the roots. Just get the roots a bit not wavy, but otherwise just braid your hair, okay? You can take bigger sections or smaller sections. The bigger sections, the heat isn't gonna penetrate as much and it's gonna give you less tight waves. Otherwise, this is gonna give you very extreme waves, which is the vibe I'm going for. So now that we have this all braided, all you're gonna do is take the flat iron and slowly move down the hair as if you are um, flat ironing it straight. We're gonna do two passes. And a little curl in the ends, because why not make it a little extra? All right, as we're letting that cool down, I just want to mention, please use enough product when you do this, or else it's not going to give the effect that you're looking for. It needs a lot of hold, and don't make it like extremely big of a braid, or else it's not going to get enough heat to penetrate all the layers of the hair. Let's let that cool down a bit. All right, let's see how this is going. I'm just going to be delicate with this. Scrumptious. Okay, work. 
and it's gonna kind of give you that crimped hair vibe. That is so cute. Am I the only one who likes this? Like, probably. You're gonna get that super crimped, awesome, ooh, look with the dark hair, it looks so pretty. I love it. That's how you do the crimped look. The longer you let it sit, the better it'll come out. I let, didn't let it sit very long, so um, it should, should be more crimped than that, typically, but uh, it looks dope. All right, now that we went over those techniques, why don't we break out some short hair? Cause you guys think that, you know, you can't do these things on short hair, it's not true. And I'm gonna show you a few more things you can do and kind of combine all these things we just did into one mega flat ironing. I can't get this thing off the stands. <laughs> now you'll recognize this girl from another video. <laughs> Oh God, actually her hair came out really cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. But she was from the um, teaching my brother how to cut hair video. It was a fun video. So now that we have our techniques down, we're gonna fully go through how I would exactly style it. Say she wakes up or she lets her hair air dry. It's just a mess, right? She's just like, oh, I like what I do. Well, this is what you do. I like to take a round section out, halo sections I like to call them, um, which is just taking the perimeter out. Otherwise, Take a little spray, spray it up. Okay, cool, we sprayed it up, did that. Now, we're gonna start in the back. You don't need a lot of wave back here. And what's gonna happen if you do a lot of wave is you're gonna get stacking. You don't want stacking when you have short hair, okay? So typically, I like to just keep this part straight, honestly. Give it a little bit of a bend, that's fine. You just don't wanna put too much of a bevel in the hair in the back or else you're gonna get really gross stacking and it's gonna look not modern. That's where I see a lot of girls go wrong is they're giving it too much curl for their short hair. It's all about doing the least when you have a short bob or anything like this, the least. I'm doing the least, see that? We're never doing the most, okay? Except for like usual daily life. But right now we're gonna do the least. Take it, boom, 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 boom. I like to use the wave technique for most short hair bob looks. Again, we're twisting it halfway, twisting it halfway, twisting it halfway, twisting it halfway. And look at how fudging pretty that is, dude. I know what you're thinking. Why does that look so easy? But when I do it at home, it's not. Just don't overthink it, man. It's supposed to be organic. It's supposed to be fun. Now to make this hair go out of their face, we're gonna do a little bit of a curl backwards. See how we're kind of mixing all of those techniques we just learned all in one? I don't like the way this kind of pops out. You see that? So we're just gonna kind of go boop and straighten that back down. And now comb it out, see if it's to your liking. If it's not, go back in, do it again. That is one layer fully down. That took me maybe a minute and 30 seconds. Now we're gonna take a big chunk of hair again down. That first layer being straight is not going to show, so don't worry about it. Boom, bam, boom, bam, and boom. And then we're gonna form with our hands, see that? We're taking our hands and we're, that hot, hot hair, we're gonna go like this, scrunch it, and you're gonna get that wave. That is fabulous, okay? At one of the beauty cons, I did a presentation on how to wave your hair, and they gave me 10 minutes to fully describe the look and then do the look. So if I can do that that fast, you can do it too. Just again, don't overthink the steps and kind of keep looking in the mirror and say, is this too poofy? And then just adjust from there. Just feel it. Be an artist of your own hair. That side's done. That took me all of four minutes, five minutes to do. I'm gonna kind of break it up again. I think it looks too perfect. Pull these pieces down. I also love to put pomade in the hair. Just rub it on your hands and kind of go in there and it kind of just forms the wave for you a little better. It's it's looking too straight at the end. So we're gonna take the flat iron and just go in on those ends. Give it a little bevel right here. That looks cute to me. That looks modern, that looks fresh, that looks fun. Maybe some people will say this looks terrible, this looks messy, but to me this looks modern and beautiful to each their own, right? So let's move on to this side and I'll do a little bit more of a romantic wave. Something that doesn't look as boho and chic cause it's not, everybody's not boho and chic, okay? We can't all be like, me, you know? We're gonna work through this side in a bit of a different way. We are gonna again do the halo section, all right? And it's it's messy, man. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not much of a perfectionist when it comes to like styling. I just like organic. If you don't like organic, click the frick off this video. We're gonna now take it and we're gonna do a half turn like I taught you before. And this time, this is the serious part. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Pull it, pull it, pull it down. Don't kill your client or yourself, but that's gonna make an extremely flat wave. See how flat that is? And now you can go in and flatten it even more. That way you don't get that stacking that you're gonna get if you don't pull it down after. I'm gonna do this wave going forward with short hair 
it's important that when it comes out of the flat iron, you twist it right away or else it's not gonna give any kind of that bevel to the hair. So I did that piece forward. I'm gonna do this piece forward again. And we're gonna give kind of a variation of twists backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And just pull that hair down and just don't give too much wave to it, all right? Now this part is the part, again, that people mess up on the most, which is giving it too much wave. I like to just bevel the ends a little bit, different directions, so it looks a little weird and confused. But I don't actually like to put wave back here because it will just give too much of volume on little bobs like this. So you got kind of texture, you got your curl wavy thing in the front, and now on to the next layer. We're gonna cut this in half and go again, and we're gonna do some backwards waves, all right? And twist it with your hand, boom. And now we're on to the last layer. And that took, again, all of five minutes to get here. So we're gonna finish this top layer and we're gonna put a nice wave right in the front because that is where people look the most. And it's gonna give you that really like Instagram-y like, ooh, I just got my hair done, I got a bob kind of moment. Um, let me do this one forward. Feel it, guys, be an artist. So as you can see, we have two totally different types of waves going on. We have one side that is very boho chic, very modern, very cool. And then this side is more refined, still really cool, but a different vibe as you can see. I'm more of this girl. Some people are more of this girl. Also, now that this is cooled down, we can kind of brush this out with our hands and modernize it a little bit more. And you're gonna give a little bit more volume to it, a little more texture. And if you say you like this, but you like this too, that's okay. I got an answer for you. You can do both. So now that we already have these waves going on, we can just dig into this pile of wave and add a few waves that I can do on the other side. So now you're getting two different textures in one and that is probably my actual favorite way of doing this. I like to mix up styles and that's how you kind of keep it fresh. And it really doesn't need a lot of these. Just by putting a few in, really kind of switches up the style a lot. Let me show you that. It's gonna give kind of a confused little wave and it's not gonna be as perfect. So a couple different ways to wave hair. Super different, super fun. And you can do it on really short hair. Those are all my beautiful, fabulous techniques on how to do some flat iron tricks, all right? Now you budge it up, sis. You get in there and you do that. Now, if you're wondering, is flat, is, I get this question a lot. Is titanium or ceramic plates better? Now, there's no real easy way to answer this. I've used a lot of ceramic plates that are not good. I've used a lot of titanium plates that aren't good either. So honestly, just buy a good flat iron. I used the T3 today. However, um, before I started using the T3, my first and probably true love right now and that I've used for ages, the GHD Gold Iron. I mean, they make great tools. My flat iron has been with me for like 10 years now. It's expensive, but it never broke. Great iron. It has temperature control. But honestly, I don't want to give you any misinformation. So I just say that as long as you are using the correct technique, you should be able to get away with both, either one. I haven't noticed a huge difference between the two, so I don't think it's that crazy important, just being honest with you. You might watch this video and you might try this at home, all these techniques. Just have patience with yourself. A lot of these techniques I did get down really quick. However, I'm a very visual artistic person, so I think it comes more naturally to me, where some people are very technical and want to do everything perfect and right. Be creative with your hair. Have fun with it. It doesn't need to look perfect. As long as you put a little effort in, you know, people will notice it and appreciate it. So. Just practice these things, practice at home, keep trying and you will get it, I promise you, as you keep going and as you keep trying. Just like anything in life, you know, it's the same with hair. So get on that, start waving your hair, start curling it or start straightening it and it'll change your life, okay? That is all for today. Hope you guys like that. I know you like some informational videos, so there is one, again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my brand, Xmodo Hair, and mine is BradmonoMyC um, on Twitter and also TikTok if you wanna do that. Shop Glitterati by X Mondo Hair below. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, love you. See you later, deuces. Eee, that's stupid.